I love that old Charles Bronson yes. episode of uh, My name's Charles Bronson and I feel surly <laughs> about being on Conan's oh, God. That would be amazing. That's in. We're using that as the opening. Yeah. But it is not Charles Bronson. In it's fact, it is. me, Bill Hader, and I feel tired <laughs> about being Conan O'Brien's friend. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It is a lot. It's a lot of lifting. <laughs> It's a lot of eye contact. You've moved me in and out of like six apartments. <laughs> yeah. You still have that uh, van, don't you? Yeah, it's like, hey, Bill, you still got the van, right? Can you help me out? <laughs> well, can you get it? <laughs> God, I love I, I love a Charles Bronson impression. I really well, do. Well, it's Hank Azaria's impression. Yes. I, just, I do Hank Azaria's Charles Bronson, which I can't do. But or, who was the guy? Tim Thomerson. Remember that guy? The... He's really funny. Yeah, he was yeah. in a bunch of movies in the 80s. And, there's a, there's but he a, would do Charles Bronson. Uh, he did a President Charles Bronson <laughs> talking to a, a bag boy at a grocery store. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching that, and he would, it just started where he, he just he goes, Hey, zit face. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish, I think people still laugh because I remember it on The Simpsons. We had Charles Bronson on a couple of times. Oh, the best. <laughs> And once, once it was, uh, and Hank Azaria would do the voice, but it was a baby. I remember there was a, it was a little boy. <laughs> yeah, and well, it went to Bronson, Missouri. It went to Bronson, Missouri <laughs> instead of Branson, and everyone's a version of Charles Bronson. And the little kid says, hey, Ma, how about some cookies? And uh, the, 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 ma, the mother says, no dice. <laughs> and, and the kid says, this isn't over. Yeah, this yeah, ain't yeah. over. This yeah. ain't over. And it's like, the best. <laughs> it's the hardest I... They also they in the when the critic came to Springfield and it was like now uh, we we're gonna go to Death Wish nine and it was Charles Bronson in a hospital bed and oh, he goes yeah. they wish I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean those were you know what's well, crazy? I love Charles Bronson. You know what's crazy? Uh, those movies, the Death Wish movies, don't. Uh, I know you're a movie buff, so this is a natural thing to go into. But those Death Wish movies don't really hold up because <laughs> in the I, I remember they're made in the 70s and it's all about how basically it's it's just a, there are wild animals out there and you need to carry a gun and people are getting killed left and right and the police can't do anything. And then I remembered living in New York in like the late 90s, you know, all through the late night show, which is 93 to whatever, 2009. And, and I remember Death Wish came on and I was watching it and someone said to the Charles Bronson character, come on, it's really not that bad out there. And he says, really? Have you tried to walk north of Amsterdam on 75th? And I thought, yeah. <laughs> there are seven places where you can buy an eclair. <laughs> yeah, and that first movie starts out like killing rapists and thieves, and then by the fourth one, it's just jaywalkers he's picking off. Yeah, oh, or, or, or weirdly like people from the future, like <laughs> yes, future right, bodyguards yes. or like weird Super Mario well, Brothers we watched, type of uh, characters. Uh, me and uh, one of the writers, Matt, we were watching, we just did it as a treat for ourselves. We watched one of the much later death wishes and what happens is Charles Bronson comes by New York to see his his old friends this old couple and he lands in New, the New York of 1988 or whatever you know he lands in New York or he arrives in the port authority he's on a bus he gets off he gets in a cab and it's New York and he starts driving north to the northern part of Manhattan cut to this moonscape they just yeah. and, and apparently yes. they shot this part like in in England but he gets to this moonscape of dirt roads, there's no more paving, and there's wild gangs that just surround an apartment building, and they all, of course, look like Mad Max, yeah. beyond Thunderdome with right. Mohawks. Like yeah. Escape from New and, York. Yeah, yeah. and, yeah. and the York, police exactly. won't even go there. <laughs> and you're, you're thinking, well, wait a minute, no, I just saw you land in the New York <laughs> yeah. we all know, and now it, it felt like an arch conservative ad for what New York City is. Yeah, I think that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah that's exactly Don't what it is. Don't vote for a Dukakis. <laughs> <laughs> This, is Goldwater this, still around? This is what's gonna happen if you vote for Dukakis, everybody. He looks right at camera. 